Hey loves, and welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So tonight I have a very urgent message for the Divine Feminine. Please keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that do not, okay? Divine Feminine, there's someone in your energy field who's not who you think they are. And it used to be really hard for you to identify this person because they didn't want you to find out who they truly were. They pretended to be a solid friend, lover, or family member. But if you were to know their true intentions behind being connected to you, it would really shock you. This is a person that has very intentional energy. So they form connections in this way as well. There's always a motive or a reason why they want to be in someone's company. So when they sought out your friendship, your love, or your loyalty, they did this for a reason. This person was interested in not what they saw before them, but they were interested in who they knew you were going to become. This is someone who knew very early on upon engaging you that you had a very promising future. They could tell by the way that you carry yourself, your interests, your intelligence, and instead of them being motivated by this and seeing your light and your gifts as inspiration, this person did the unthinkable. They begin to covet your energy. And I'm getting that you know exactly who this person is. You may even have a soft spot for this person because they come off super harmless. But if you were to peel back the layers, you would see that this person is far from innocent. They're actually very low vibrational. For some of you, you can't even begin to understand why someone would want to trade places with you. Because I'm getting clearly that your journey has not been perfect. You've literally had to work very hard to become the person that you are today. And what's funny is that that's what actually drew this person to you in the first place. When you look at this through a spiritual lens... There are souls who come to this planet who have a very dark perception of the world and it's tied to their experiences. Maybe they weren't dealt a fair hand in life, but all of this is tapping into the mental space. It's almost as if your spiritual team wants you to get inside the minds of these people so that you can understand who and what you're dealing with because it may be very easy to mask this energy. And what's interesting about this is that oftentimes the souls that are carrying so much heaviness will be in the form of some of the most appealing, charismatic, and attractive people. People that you would never guess are experiencing such turmoil on the inside. But this is not about their presentation. This is about their soul. I believe that we all manifest here on earth as the highest vibration, which is love. But due to external circumstances, we either can maintain this vibrational frequency or we begin to drop into a state of fear. And fear is the most dangerous vibration because you would do almost anything when you are afraid. And this person or this group of people were afraid of you, afraid of your power and your gifts but more importantly, afraid of who God created you to be. And this has nothing to do with how you present. They could sense this all over your aura. I'm even getting that they may have been afraid of what you would become outside of them or without them. And this is where it gets strange. This person, for fear of standing in their own authenticity, begin to siphon or covet your energy. And you will know that this message is for you if you notice that every single time you're in the presence of this person, for some reason you begin to feel drained. Or there's just something very low vibrational about their energy that you can't quite put your finger on. This could also manifest in this person being obsessive or really controlling when it comes to autonomy. This is someone who tried to get as close as they could to you so they could mimic your energy, your spirit, your soul, your destiny. 
in hopes that they would receive the gifts that you have or that they will be able to walk into the rooms that you walk into or receive the attention or favor that you have over your life. But this person had no idea what they were dealing with. So they were not actually taking anything from you because everything that you are is connected to the source. This person was trying to tap into your spiritual currency. They were trying to deal with energy and principalities that they have no idea about. So this is so much bigger than they thought. They thought that they were going to get away with this, but I'm getting that God has already exposed this person and revealed to you who they are. The thing about being spiritually gifted and connected to the unseen realm is that you don't have to wait until someone tells you who they are. I know that we're trained to do this in the physical realm. We will feel the signs. We will feel the energy shift when we're around this person, but we're waiting for people to open their mouths and confirm what it is that we know or what it is that we feel. All the signs will be there and they will keep getting louder and louder until God finally sends you a message or a sign that you can't ignore. And all of this is being revealed to you at this time, Divine Feminine, because this is the year that things are going to begin to unfold for you. If you have been feeling stuck in any way, or as if you keep having very cyclical experiences with the same people, places, and things, it's because there's someone or a group of people who have been trying to use your energy and your vitality for their own advancement. And this is backfiring on them in a major way. Because the truth is that this person has no idea that they were dealing with something much higher than themselves and you. And they also had no idea how spiritually protected and covered you actually are. What's even more interesting about this is that this person may be conscious of this or they could be unconscious of their actions. But their failure to stand in their authenticity caused them to take the form of an energy vampire. And for so long, this person was using you as a host. This could even be a person that you least expect. But you have to understand that whether they were conscious of this or not, it doesn't erase the fact that they were literally trying to put out your light and zap you of your energy and vitality. This is a serious offense in the spiritual realm. And if you are resonating with this message, you are about to receive justice. I know that this message is a little heavy and it may not apply to everyone, but as the divine feminine, you have to pay attention to who you allow in your space. You also have to begin to really tap into your gifts and read people beyond what you see. Because when it comes to the physical realm, we are dealing with the energy of givers and takers. And because you are so empathic, you don't even worry about the small stuff. Things that people fight and bicker and lie and steal over are so small to you, Divine Feminine. But that's because you are a giver. The energy of a giver is someone who exists on the frequency of love. You come into this world with an understanding that you are spiritually abundant. So you don't identify your worth with the material realm. So you can easily flow through life, even when you're having a hard time or when your physical circumstances are a little challenging, because deep down you understand that nothing you go through defines you because you are plugged into a higher source of energy. And this is what attracts people to you. But this is also what makes people envy you. You have to be very mindful of that. You will actually be surprised how many people can't put their finger on why they feel some kind of way about you. It's what's in you, Divine Feminine. But these souls who come here and are vibrating on the level of fear, these are the souls that become takers. So when you look at this through a spiritual lens, these are the souls that don't feel whole or complete. And so things begin to unfold in their lives and their circumstances begin to affirm this. And they begin to look at people around them as their source. And that's the difference. You are connected to the spiritual realm. These other people are connected to the material realm. They are of this world. You are just in this world. And that's the vibe that they can't really express when it comes to you. They don't understand how you move or why you do the things that you do because they are wired completely different than you. 
And your guides are revealing all of this to you now because as you begin to look into the souls of the people that you are around, instead of looking at their title, you're going to understand what energy they're living from. We are so quick to identify a person by their title, and that is a truly dangerous way to live. Begin to allow their title to be the last thing that you identify. Begin to look at this person's soul, their character, their values, and most importantly, how they treat themselves. Because a person that is lacking love of self can never love you or even begin to try. All they can do is help you to stop loving yourself. Because the truth is that when we're dealing with people, they can either help us to expand or they can help us to contract. And I'm getting very clearly that this is the year to tighten up your circle, Divine Feminine. Because 2024 is really not the year to be unintentionally exchanging energy. Even if it has to be you and God for a little while, that's okay. It's better for you to be alone than in bad company. Or in the company of someone who doesn't see the value in you as a soul. But always seems to be available to use your energy for themselves. Your spiritual team wants you to know that you are walking into a timeline where your energy is very expensive. Your value is increasing. Your spiritual currency is increasing at a rapid rate. And anyone who tries to attach themselves to you or your gifts for reasons that are not of a high vibration will begin to lose access to you. So pay attention what's leaving you at this time. Pay attention to the connections that you have had for years that just seemingly disappear or fall off. Take note of it, but don't question it. This is a time for you to stand in your power and know that no one can take anything that is truly for you. So if you feel that you have given your power away in any way by way of being connected to anyone physically or even by making some kind of spiritual contact or energetic link with a person that's not a high vibrational soul, it is time to call your power back, okay? I'm also getting the number three. So you may be seeing 333 three, three on your journey at this time. I'm also getting three months. So something significant in your life is gonna unfold or shift in three months time to this date. So just be mindful of that. I'm getting that very clear. That may be very specific for someone, okay? But be sure to continue calling your power back. This may also be something that you have to begin practicing daily because whatever this energy is, it's very heavy. And I'm getting that it's something you have been dealing with for a very, very long time. But the more that you do this, the more powerful you will become and the more you will begin to feel like yourself again. You may also notice that massive tower moments will begin to hit these people who try to do this to you. Because for so long, they were literally surviving off of your aura and using you as some kind of source. So just by you calling your power back, these people will be left to sit with themselves. And the way this energy is coming through, this may bring some challenges that they were avoiding just by being attached with you. This is how divine you are. This is also how powerful you are. And you're about to see this. There are souls who attach themselves to people who have very, very bright lights. And your light becomes their armor. Your light becomes their protection in a certain way. But what's interesting about this dynamic is that these people use people as their source. So while you may be filling them up, they could be physically draining you. Just by you detaching, you regain your power and these people have to actually sit in their own energy, which may be presented in tower moments or challenges. But the truth is that it's just a reflection of who they truly are, okay? So if this message is for you, stay in your vibration. Make people come up to meet you where you are. For some of you, this is a lesson that keeps coming around because it's attached to your destiny or it's an aspect of yourself that you're here to master. And that lesson is to never compromise your worth or your value for companionship. It doesn't matter if it's a family member, a friend, or a lover. Your energy is too expensive and your spiritual currency is proof of that and it will always be proof of that, okay? Today is also the full moon in Sagittarius, 
which is all about closure, but closure that instantly expands your energy. Sagittarius is also ruled by Jupiter, and we have Jupiter going into Gemini on the 25th. Jupiter is the great benefic, so it comes with gifts. So it's the energy that comes into your life to help you get to where you really want to be, but it can also highlight anywhere in your life where there's excess. And in this case, this full moon energy is tied to people, people that are literally dampening your auric field or taking up space in a low vibrational way. So definitely take the time to sit with this energy and to be honest about who in your life helps you to expand and who in your life makes you feel like you have to contract. And once you have that answer, be sure to take one step in the direction of your truth and allow the universe to expand this act of courage. This energy is so beautiful. And you're at this stage in your journey, Divine Feminine, where you're being guided to set firm boundaries to protect your peace, your beauty, your vitality, and your prosperity. Because although you will run into people who see you as a light and who will become inspired by you, on the flip side, there are souls who are unconsciously operating out of fear and inauthenticity that will do anything to stop you. Even if that means getting close enough to you to trick you out of your spot. And the weird thing about this energy is that these souls will often do it with a smile on their face. They will do it pretending to be your lovers, your friends, your family members that you can trust, okay? Pay attention to how you feel. Stop paying attention to the title. So this is just a confirmation from your guides that your energy is too expensive, Divine Feminine, and everybody does not need to access you. Especially at this time where the planet is kind of undergoing a massive recalibration where if something is not a vibrational match for you, you will find that things seem to leave your life. You will find that you begin to walk in a different direction. You will find that the more that you begin to speak your truth and own your story and live in your authentic space, things will just begin to fall away and pay attention to what it is. You know, these energetic ties could be connected to lovers, friends, family, but it's very, very important to separate the person from the title because this will tell you exactly what it is that you are dealing with, okay? So be sure to up your spiritual protection at this time, whether this be your journaling, whether this be affirmations, whether this be you sitting in a meditation or prayer, it's very, very imperative for you to be surrounded by your energy or energies that are like-minded when it comes to this type of transition. But definitely let go of anything that feels tight, anything or anyone that makes you feel as if you can't expand or feel a sense of freedom in walking in all that you are. Because the more that you align with your authenticity, the more blessings are going to pour over your life. And I'm getting clearly that something very, very massive is beginning to unfold and is going to come into culmination within the next three months for you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.